Welcome to our air engine research. I expect you're here because you're interested in the possibility of an air-powered vehicle. I've been working on the same idea for a number of years and I've made uh, a number of videos showing my progress, but for today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I want to talk about some problems and some current things that I have going on. Um, but first I want to say that I've been putting out videos for six years now and some of them are pretty funny, <laughs> some of them are downright ridiculous, and some of them are pretty neat. Uh, I've been working on a three-cylinder prototype that uh, worked pretty well and I'll go ahead and show you what that is uh, looking like. Okay, that's the three-cylinder one. I can see it runs pretty good. Uh, and starting in 2017, I decided to go ahead and build the, the, the final version of it, and I'm going to make it a six-cylinder engine. Um, I'll show you what that looks like and how it's running. Okay, I'm running on two, four, and six. So first it starts off on two, but it, it's not in the right position, so it doesn't start. So I go to six or four. Four. see how that one runs. Uh, like I say, I'm calling that a model 2017 since I started working on it in 2017. It's a, a six-cylinder eccentric drive shaft. It is compact and it has a drive shaft that's running on uh, two tapered bearings, one on the top end and one on the bottom end. It's got uh, three eccentric drive bearings and six side support bearings for the three piston uh, push shafts that rotate the drive shaft that will eventually be uh, attached to the clutch and then to a five-speed transmission in my my pickup truck. Uh, the engine can be run on either like I showed you two, four, or six cylinders by just switching the valve and that can be done while you're driving or you know, if you need more horsepower you can go back and forth uh, and also by adjusting the cam, uh, it can be either run clockwise or counterclockwise, although it's designed to run clockwise. Uh, the engine is meant to replace a four-cylinder gas engine that's in my Ram 50 pickup truck. It'll be mounted and hooked to the clutch that drives the five-speed transmission. The air supply is going to come from a high pressure tank that will be attached to a smaller lower pressure tank that will be maintained to about 200 to 300 PSI and that, that will run the, the engine. Now I've got a, a lawnmower body that I modified by putting some car tires on it and uh, making it to where I can do some testing and stuff to see how the, the engine runs and, and how it works. Uh, this is a picture of my uh, lawnmower body. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, uh, that's one picture of it and that's a, another picture of the the current 
thing the way the engine is mounted on the rear end of it. Um, it seemed to, to run everything just fine on my uh, workbench. And when I put it in the test vehicle and tried to move it around a little bit, I found out that by pushing the mower backwards, it would bend the push rod or the valve stems, I should say. And I can't have that. So, since I make the parts and build the engine from off the shelf items and material, my uh, longest running problem has been the valves. And I finally, I think, come up with an idea that that will take care of the valve problem. It's a, a double cam or a double valve thing that runs right now on a, on that double camshaft, and that's where my problem is. There's another picture of a cam, the way the cam is actually designed. <clears throat> the cams were designed to uh, push the valves open and keep it open for a certain length of time and then close quickly. And since they close quickly, backing up the uh, the slope on the cam is too steep and it can't push the valve back open so it just bends the stem. Now I am working on a different uh, valve design that I hope in the long run will be the right one. Uh, you can see where it has the double, double valves and there's going to be a, a cam that will be on the drive shaft that will be inside of a ring. And as the cam moves around with the drive shaft, it'll push and pull the proper valve at the right time. So I'm hoping that will, will work and uh, not let the valve stems get bent anymore. And also at the same time now, I'm also been working on on a pressure regulator for the high pressure to low pressure tank. I think that one will work okay. It, it seems to work from what I'm doing now with just low pressure, but it does work. So <clears throat> now uh, I've talked about some things. I guess it can be a little bit confusing, and I'm sorry about that, but. They are part of the design, and I hope at least the session has been interesting for you, and I'll put out more information as I, as I make progress. Uh, it may be a while. There's other things going on, too, that I have to take care of. So, again, thanks for checking in, and until next time, auf Wiedersehen.